defeated Scrooge, you have to go and watch a bit of the movie. Then comes the most uh, fucking annoying part of the whole fucking game. <sighs> I wasted so many hours on this when I was sh when I was younger. I played with my niece the whole time this game, and I finished it one one morning. But this was the most fucking annoying part of any fucking possible game. I have to go and play tennis with this guy, and it's really fucking annoying. You just throw these balls. You which have the size of fucking footballs. There's not a tennis ball. Also, this is so awkward to use, man. Look, if you just... And he sounds like a fucking retard if he, if he wins. Anyway, I'm not trying to be screwed. Fuck this! Oh, I fucking hate this guy. Motherfucker. Wait. Oh my god, this is so ridiculous. Fuck! No, you're almost impossible. The hang of this, we're losing. I'm just feeling I'm losing my fucking mind over here. Oh Fuck this! After passing the fucking, fucking stupid tennis game, we can do some other things like this, the mouse. What the fuck is he doing? When you have to catch them, you have to press uh, square. But what is he doing? It looks like he's tripping. Trip over his fucking legs. Anyway, this is must be the most Jesus. easiest thing ever. Catch three mice in one minute. Get the fuck over here. How easy is this? A few more errands. You will see this snowy thing. Yeah, we know. What the fuck is this? Oh my. God, this is just so weird, man. You let a kid run out in the fucking cold, it's about minus 20. Run on a train who is about 250 miles per hour. That is just not good. It's just so wrong. Well, you have to go to the halfway. Yeah, the up to the halfway. Oh my god. Wait a second, he survives? Shouldn't you have a fucking concussion? Look! <laughs> it's so weird. It's so hilarious when that happens. Wouldn't you already be dead by now? Anyways, you have to go up to halfway and then, yeah, you meet a guy. This is actually a little weird. Well, you see those glowy things? Those are toy parts. These are vital. After a while, you meet up with a hobo and you get the help with the train. And now you have to go and catch up with the train. But this hobo is a fucking beast! He can take hit like a freaking champion. Look at this. Okay, I'm gonna crash in the tree. And you're staying alive. In real life, this is impossible. You would be dead or something. See these tree trunks? Oh, it's going bad. Pick up the toy part. Oh yeah, this is really fucking weird. You can go through the sides of the tree, but the trunks, those are the hazards in it. You will be dead by now. Since when does is this guy Iron Man? How can he survive there? Even the kid, is he Iron Kid? Is he the son of Iron Man? The part I'm gonna show you is this, the boss of that game. It's screwed, he turns into a giant door. This is fucking annoying. He just fires shockwaves and just hit in his heart.
is just so redundant. This is just childish. Well, this game is really Well, now my verdict of this game. Hmm. Well, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Kind of good. But it's actually only a Christmas game. It's a game you play with your family. Downstairs. With your family. It's actually, it, yeah, it's a really a family game. Because you need the eye toy if you want to do the downloadable, if you need the extra content. You need the eye toy. And your eye toy you only use with two or more players in your own. You look like a complete jackass if you do that in your room. You look like, oh, 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 oh. That's what you do if you're eye toying in your own. On your own. Wait, this is actually a game you do when the fireplace is open, as with fire and all, everybody's happy. Yeah, that's the game you're thinking about. Well, it's not bad, it occupies, a, but it's so easy. It's easy as fuck. It also is really short, and I think it's only about seven levels complete. Seven chapters, that's everything. You're now fighting Scrooge in uh, chapter four. That's already the fourth chapter. Well, furthermore, you go to Santa's workshop, climb up a stairs full of presents, which actually defies the law of physics, since when can a stack of presents hold eight kids weighing about 60 pounds? It's impossible. Also, furthermore, you go to sleigh ride and from, yeah, the present in the chimneys. And then you go back to the Polar Express, everything is okay, you get dropped back at your own house. And that's it. All everything is fine and dandy. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have some ni uh, happy holidays. Happy Hanukkah or Christmas. Happy New Year, everybody. And greetings from Yogos Games Guide. And a good and uh, happy 2010. Oh.